Hey guys, Jim Grant for Ammo Land TV. Today we're taking a closer look at this, the Steiner MPS or Micro Pistol Sight. Now this Steiner MPS Red Dot has been around for a pretty long time and has some pretty cool key features and it's extremely robust and a bit oversized for sure. So to start things off, it has a 3.3 MOA dot, eight different brightness settings, and has a runtime of roughly 13,000 hours off of a single 2032 battery. It has an MSRP of $574.99 and is a direct competitor to the Acro as well as the RMR from Trijicon. But is it worth it? Well, it really depends on what a shooter wants. Personally, uh, the fully enclosed red dots, I'm not necessarily a huge fan of them on handguns like this Walther PPQ Q4 steel frame, which I really like, but uh, and I use this CNH Precision plate on the rear, which I can very much highly recommend. It has an integral backup sight. Very, very nice. But I get a little bit of limited visibility from the, the, uh, from the actual shell of the optic, but not as bad as you'd think. And it's not totally dissimilar to the amount of area that's sort of blocked from a traditional RMR. Uh, one thing I did like about this over an RMR or even optics from like Hollow Sun or Aimpoint is it is a true, true 1X, and unmistakably so. Uh, I, I've had certain optics where you know, I aim mount sight, and you can see there's a little bit of distortion or even a little bit of tint and color and whatnot. Not the case whatsoever with the MPS. I'll clear this one more time. My experience thus far with it, having shot roughly 400 rounds through this Wolther with the red dot attached to it, as well as about 1,000 rounds through my personally owned MP5 using a Scalar Works mount, which I highly recommend is it's a fantastic little optic. It feels, definitely feels more durable than an RMR. I don't know if it truly is or not, uh, but my experience thus far is with these, you know, heavy duty aluminum wings that protect it. And you can see it has the, uh, the battery compartments up top. Use either a specialized tool or even just a small flathead screwdriver and you can turn it counterclockwise and then reinsert a battery. Whereas the adjustments are one click for one MOA on the top, either up or down. And then on the right side is windage, left and right. Again, one click, one MOA. In terms of longevity and holding zero, I had a lot of luck with this optic, even when I mounted it on my Benelli M4, because it just, it holds zero. It's very, very rock solid. The design is actually somewhat similar to kind of a shrunk down weaver mount. If you're not familiar with how these optics actually mount, you need an aim point acro style mount or an acro, you know, footprint plate for your pistol. And that's why I got this one from CNH Precision because unfortunately this Walther does not include one. It came with an RMR mount, I believe another type of mount as well. It may have been for like a shield sight or even a delta point. But uh, yeah, no, I really, really like this optic so far. Uh, truth be told, it kind of looks, look at it from this angle, kind of like an angry robot, which I'm, I'm very down with. Very cool, very Decepticon. And uh, yes, it's not the cheapest optic out there at 574, but it's very solid, very well built, and thus far, had nothing but positive things to say about it. And last but not least, it tips the scales at a very, very mediocre 58 grams. So neither super heavy nor ridiculously lightweight. It's kind of right in the middle. Uh, I'd say it's fairly lightweight for the way that it's built for sure. And uh, yeah, thus far, it's very natural, very well built. And uh, I have thus far not been able to get it to fail. It never flickers on or off. I've never had the battery compartment go loose. And even when I removed it from this plate and put it back on, it held zero. So what's my final verdict on the Steiner MPS, this is the Gen 1, mind you, is that, yeah, it's a solid option if you don't have a red dot on your handgun already and you want something and you definitely don't want uh, an RMR or you said, I don't really want a hollow sun, you want something a little more off the beaten path, or hell, you just want something that looks like it could be dropped on and not shatter, then yeah, the Steiner MPS is a solid buy. Thanks, guys. For MON TV, I'm Jim Grant. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I will catch you guys on the flip side.